anybody can last 12 rounds if you just back up and hardly throw a punch, like LX did in the championship rounds. LX isn't skilled. All he does is run away until he lower skilled opponents uses all of his stamina and then he goes them. Any truly skilled player wouldn't have a problem schooling him. Well, 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 look what we have here. A top five fighter in the game, Rage quits as soon as the pressure gets tough. You are quote unquote winning the fight, but then after a little bit of pressure, you want to go ahead and rage quit like a filthy. Oh man, I'm glad I'm recording this because I'm recording this and I'm uploading it to YouTube. You best believe that. People may or may not like or have a problem with how I decide to do things on my own channel. But one thing that I do remain consistent about is, is my objective. And my objective is, is to clean up the sport of esports boxing. To make esports boxing a competitive and engaging environment. But more importantly, my main objective in esports boxing is to get rid of the bitch ass clowns that litter the game with lies, drama, and fake false attitudes. And this is exactly what this video is about. Is the top five fighter in Fight Night Champion who comes on here and tries to lie to yours truly when I'm gonna present you nothing but the truth, the whole truth, and all of the truth. And the truth is, is that the top 100 is full of clowns. Clowns who are leaving nothing but cow excrement all over the Fight Night community, littering it with garbage. Garbage that I have to go back and clean up. Now, I want to make this very clear that I shouldn't be having to do this. And I mean this to all the people who like to talk shit on, I'm not skilled, this, that, and the third. Well, if I'm not skilled, then why are you losing to clowns like this? explain that and speaking of the top 100 let's go down the list speaking of skills because I see a lot of familiar names that have been victims of my channel like the number two ranked fighter hot ride 20 at 703 yeah I remember him he was the guy who rage quit as soon as the going got tough and the heat got turned up in the oven he bitched out like the bitch that he is and then we've got numbers, the number six ranked fighter, Brown Mike 10, hell of a fighter, stand up guy, class act. I doubt any of you people on here who think that they're good could beat that guy. I'd put all my money on him. Believe that. And then we got the number 10th ranked fighter, Dion Lee. Yeah, the virgin incel who has over 30,000 fights and still managed to get on the mic crying because I beat him from pillar to post. Straight right hand. Yeah, that guy's also another victim here. And right underneath him on the, the number 11th rank, Evil Noobs 187, I beat his ass back in 2018 and had him crying on my YouTube channel complaining because he couldn't figure out my skill. Because I am that damn good whether you like it or not. But I digress. This video is about the number 5th rank fighter, Go Flexo, who I would have to say, in my experience, is one of the dumbest fight night players I've ever went up against and what do I mean by that is is I'm gonna leave you the viewer with the truth and let you decide from the evidence presented on what you think happened at the end of the fight according to him he says that he was quote unquote lagging the entire game and because I was losing on the scorecards when the game was disconnected and that is true I was down on the scorecards that I lost the fight, technically. 
But what I'm telling you is, is when you watch this fight, it looks like everything and anything but a technical knockout for me. And then he's going to go in and try to convince himself that he's right. Hashtag and flexed for whatever reason. I don't know. But my point is, is that I'm presenting you with the truth. And the truth is, go flexo is you're a liar. And not only you're a liar, but you're also a clout chasing scumbag who doesn't deserve to be in this prestigious community that we call esports boxing. In fact, if it was up to me, you're lucky I don't know where you're at. Because if I did, I would actually go in your house, unplug your modem, and I'd smash you in the fucking head, breaking that modem and breaking your skull, knocking two birds out with one stone. When you finally do come to, you won't have an internet connection, you won't have Fight Night Champion, because I'm going to break the disc and I'd throw it right in your face and you'll wake up to nothing but plastic in your mouth. And I mean that. And also one more thing too, before I start this fight. Stop lying about having 66k subs on YouTube. I did my homework and you ain't got shit. Nothing but a mouth. A mouth in the heart of a bitch. So once again, we're gonna get to the fight. And I'ma let you, the viewer, be the judge. And do you go flexo? We know the truth about what happened. And the truth is, is that you felt my overwhelming presence in the virtual boxing arena. The truth is, is that you felt my absolute power with every press of a button. And it's a shame that a video game got you feeling that scared. You need to look at yourself in the mirror, homie and get all that bitch out of your system. This video is always gonna be here to remind you that I made you spread it wide, made you take it deep, and acknowledge the fact that you was my bussy bottom bitch for the night. And you gotta eat that. And I mean that both figuratively and literally. Weak piece of shit. Everybody, Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds in the middleweight division. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. for the other one to make the first mistake. Teddy Southpaw versus Orthodox Fighter. So many times we've heard how useful the right hand can be in this matchup. Yeah, usually trainers love to tell Orthodox Fighters against the Southpaw that the right hand is the Dragon Slayer. A headshot blocked. Oh, and you can see now he's starting to target that jab with more and more confidence. Halfway through this round here. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Left hook to the body, then he comes back with the right hand. Do pulls the trigger right away after taking one. He fires. 
fires off the combination there and it lands. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Hopkins is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. You have to keep him this. Hopkins is left now getting into the mix. Left to the body. Hopkins is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. through round number two. A little head hunting with the right. A barrage of punches now. Yeah, that's it. Movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Able to cover up along the belt line. Watch that one. Good job with another left hand. He has his target. He lands a straight right. round you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he was doing well you're right the first thing that i noticed is his back's not leaning against the corner pad you know that's a defeated fighter that's a fighter he don't want to go back something bad happens so you know he's leaning back like that you have to pick him up from the stool he's got all his weight forward he can't wait to get going you know that he's positive you know that he had a good round Says 
is right back with the left hand. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay. And he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Hook off the jab. One, two, one, two. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Good combination with a flush left hook to the body and then that right hand. Good looking counter punch. Something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Ten clicks of the talk. And the round comes to an end. As we start round number four, not a lot separating these guys. Sometimes you can steal a round or two just by being the busier guy. Yeah, it uh, reminds me a little bit about those legendary stories the old timers used to tell me about Rocky Marciano. You know, they used to say that he used to hit the guy's arms. You know, he wasn't scoring clean, but he was keeping his opponent from scoring back. And then later in the fight, he was disabling his opponent from coming back. Nice work, nice work. Keep moving, keep moving. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here? Well, do aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. There he goes with the right hand again. Good flush shot upstairs. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Hopkins is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Both were able to score. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. Good defensive skill. Protecting his head well with his guard. <laughs> Halfway into round number five here. He 
He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old times would say, you know, that's the hard thing, is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part, is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. Bunches and bunches, combination up top. Scores big with the hook to the head. Hopkins is able to avoid that punch. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision that you just touched on has not been in their minds at all. Double jab. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. This is brilliant defense we're seeing here every which way. Blocking punches, moving well, parrying punches away. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Now he has to connect the offense a little bit better. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Keep it going. Keep moving. Keep moving. That worked out really well. Throw it off the right hand that's getting tagged like that. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. There's no need to be on the inside. Lands the counter. Good strong combo. He could be a turning point kind of round. I mean, we start this round right here, and you do have the sense, even though I think he's down on the scorecards, you do have the sense that he's headed in the right direction. Well, good things can start, you know, one step at a time. Well, he took that first step. Now he's got to take the second step and put two good rounds in a row together. Well, 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 look what we have here. A top five fighter in the game, Rage quits as soon as the pressure gets tough. You are quote unquote winning the fight, but then after a little bit of pressure, you want to go ahead and rage quit like a pussy. Oh man, I'm glad I'm recording this because I'm recording this and I'm uploading it to YouTube. You best believe that. Over here fighting like a bitch. Over here swinging and running like a coward. Well, you know what? When you fight like a coward, you can expect coward results. And that's why you got your ass beat. Over there getting stunned off of a jab. That's how you know you trash when you let a jab knock you out. I don't give a fuck if you're a top five fighter in the game. You still a top five bitch in my eyes. And you've been exposed.
I'm a motherfucking thug.